Hey guys, it's me again, and I thought today we would do something fun with a craft with me. And I wanted to do something for those of us that send mail, snail mail, um, in a in a pen pal kind of a way. And so we're going to make just a little pen pal folio kind of interactive thing to send in the mail. And what I have used is one of these hanging file folders. You can actually buy these new if you want, um, but you can also find them at thrift stores a lot of times and you know. So don't spend too much money on them. <laughs> so what I have done is first of all, I cut off these edges these long edges that have that actually have the hangers on them. We're going to we're going to get rid of those cuz we don't need those. Just like that. Okay, and so do you see how there is a score line about two and a half inches from each edge here, okay? We are going to cut off one of these, but I'm gonna want you to take about mm, 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 a half an inch wider. So where you see, where you see this score line right along here, go this way and take another half an inch past that. All right, so cut that off and save this. We're gonna need it. And then I'm gonna wanna shorten this whole deal to about 10 inches wide instead of 11 and like three quarter. Let's make this more manageable. You can leave it long if you want. I'm just not going to. Okay. Next thing that we're going to do is you can see all these score lines down here at the bottom. So this is gonna be our front bottom flap. I want you to bend, this is the main, this is the main bend point down here, the main fold. Bend and fold the next score line up from that. Taking it from that front flap. Where did I put my bone folder? It's hiding from me. Goodness gracious. And reinforce that fold with something, something or anything. And now we have this. And then on this part, because this is going to be the little flap that folds down, right? So go ahead and fold that on that score line. And then what I want you to do, I'm gonna grab my What I'm gonna want you to do is make another score mark that is a quarter of an inch from this one, but down into the body of our envelope. Not on the flat, but down into the body. So I'm gonna line, I guess it goes this way. I'm gonna line this up with one of the score lines, and then I'm gonna go in a quarter of an inch and score that down. And now we have a quarter of an inch this way. So now, as you can see, we have like a little quarter inch box, right? So cute. Okay, now take that flap that we cut off 
and what I want you to do is measure measure the height of this and that ends up being five and five eighths so I am going to cut this in half five and five eighths should cut right in half we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see see how close it is oh we we're good it's like whew, that's the right height. So let me trim the other one down. Just like so. And now we make, need to make two more score marks before, put, before we put the scoreboard away. So you can see on here, on these, when we cut this flap off, remember we left that score line and we, we cut a half an inch from, from that, okay? So now I'm gonna wanna make another quarter inch score mark from that one onto the wide part here, not onto the flap, because this is where we're gonna glue. Let me line, line that up, and then make a score line. And then same thing on this one. Go ahead and fold on that score mark that's there, line it up, and then do another one toward the wider end. Okay, now I can put this away. Now reinforce those and take the other flap and do the same thing and just reinforce those folds. Okay, so now we have our two little side doohickeys. At this point, if you want to round those corners, and I, and I do, Now on this guy, I'm going to take a couple little slivers off the edge of the flap where we're gonna glue it, just in case it happens to be a little too long for the um, area where we're gonna glue it. And that way it won't get, it won't hang up the flap from folding or anything. So, little slivers off each, each side and just beveled those in just, just slightly. All right, already making a mess here. Now you want to glue in your little flaps, making sure that you don't glue over any of those, um, our little score lines where we're boxing things in so that they can't fold. I'm just going to use some of the Fabrifix. Um, you can use double stick tape, that's great. Um, not so messy. <laughs> But this is sitting on my desk, and so this is what's going to happen. And I'm just going to glue that to the edge. And if you turn it over, you can see where box fold is and just make sure that you're not covering up any of those score lines that need to fold. And I'm just going to even even them up and line it in between. Like that. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the side. We'll have two little flaps that fold over. I hope this video is not like really, really long. I didn't prepare a whole lot, so. And line this one. 
come over and push it to where that score line meets the edge there. Just like that. And press that down. Okay, so now we have our little folio thing <laughs> envelope and it will close like this and then like this and then like this. That that's the that's the plan. <laughs> okay. And you can make sure everything's lined up well. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. We're fine. Don't stress out. So I'm gonna line the inside of this because nobody wants to see Office Depot logos. They just don't. I have some cardstock. This is Tim Holtz cardstock. I think this is a tall enough piece. Yeah, let me round the edges on this. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's a little, little too long. <laughs> Just gonna trim this down. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Again. Let's see if that's okay. Oh, much better. Now I need to mark this where I need to cut it. Where is my? Oh, there's a pencil. And don't, don't. Um, we don't want to glue it where the. Um, where the score line is going to be. We'll see if that's right. My cutter doesn't always cut real, real evenly. Okay, so it does. So if you can see, there's these two, the two fold lines that are in here, and you don't want to put any any cardstock over those. You want those to fold freely without. Um, you know, impediment. So I'm gonna glue this on. And I actually wanted to make something that was gonna go through the mail, not something that you had to wrap up in something else. Um, I just wanted to be able to, you know, put stamps on it and throw it in the mail, basically. Well, you gotta weigh it and get your quote and, you know. There's all that rot, but you know what I mean. I didn't want to have to put it in, a, in another box just to send it off. I wanted something that you could you could just mail it. So we're just gonna do this. So let me line that up like a hint. Okay, and that's the inside of our little our little um, flap, our our top flap there. Okay, and now I have some paper ready. Actually, I got this one ready. So this is um, my mind's eye, I, th I think. I think, I think it's my mind's eye. I think it's my mind's eye. But I cut it down a little bit here. It might be a little too wide. A little too wide, are we too wide? Maybe a, maybe just a, a skosh. So I'm just gonna trimmy trim. And this will get glued on the main body part here and here. Okay, so again, again with the glue. Make sure that's right side up. And I'm just going to center it right here in the middle. There we go. And then our little side flappies. And I had some extra pieces left over. They're close. They're close. I had two of them. Oh, here's the other one. 
I'm just gonna glue these on. So these were like leftovers from the sides of, you know, that one, so. Let's go ahead and glue these on. And of course, you know, you can line it with whatever you want, but here in a second, you'll see why I'm going for kind of a travel kind of a thing. And this goes on this flap over here, just cause. And then this one can go on the other side. Put that guy right there. Then you can actually write things, you know, on the flaps too. Okay. And then for the bottom section here, I have the other half of this piece of paper. I think this one's too, maybe too long. How, how much too long? What, what are we talking here? Oh, not too, not too bad. Let me trim it down. Okay, this should fit. Let me let me round the corners and see for sure. Success! Tiny bit wide. Ah. Hold on. And we repunch the corner. Okay. Ew, much better. Okay, so this is the little bottom dude here, but what I want to do ahead of time is, where's my, because I'm going to be attaching my letter right here. So, what I want to do is, I punch two holes. I had some, there they are. I have some little reinforcer dumaflagies. I'm gonna put those over the holes I just punched. I like that. Because what I want to do is take some string and this is butcher's twine, but the red kind of looks like airmail, right? a knot in either end to keep it from fraying like that and then I'm just going to bring these through easier said than done apparently we go and kind of even those up and go ahead and tie them and then that way when you glue this down you won't have one string that's longer than the other so I'm gonna go ahead and just tie a bow real quick and then there we go then I will glue it down don't worry I will edit through all these glue parts and make them shorter so ta-da magic Now I will line this up and place it down on this flap. Okay. And that kind of seals in that, that twine too. Okay. Now for the embellishing. I have several things. Here's my letter. Um, I cut out one of the um, Tim Holtz die cuts there. There's one of the labels that goes with that. I've got some rads. I've got a little vellum envelope. And then I 
printed out some ephemera that has to deal with like um, the Titanic and kind of that era. So, and some stuff that just kind of, you know, was just great. <laughs> so let me scoot all this over here. Some of this is like, like the tickets from the Tim Holtz, one of the Tim Holtz pages that has all the tickets. I just cut some of those out. Uh, there's some stamps. There's a ticket from the launch of the Titanic. There's a ticket from a passenger ticket. And here's one of the Tim Holtz um, playing card um, things. And then I made some little baby, uh, what are they called? The little Fuji um, Intax, Instax, the little tiny uh, Polaroids, but they're not Polaroids, they're Fujis. And some of my number codes and some stamps. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I want to put a um, this die cut in here. I want to put this little uh, envelope in here as well. So I'm gonna glue this envelope in, and what this is is just vellum, and it's um, a sheet of vellum, a small well, part of a sheet. It was eight and a half inches long and five and a half inches wide, and I just folded it up, and I cut out a half a circle here and sewed that half a circle onto this point uh, when I sewed up these sides so that when you close it, you could tuck it under the flap and it would stay closed. So. Yeah. So I'm going to glue just the um, side where um, where the stitches are on either side because I'm going to leave it as kind of a belly band of some sort, just for extra. <laughs> I'm put extra stuff in there. So it doesn't matter where you put it. I'm just going to kind of center it in there. And what's great about the vellum is you can see through it, so that's kind of cool. So there's that. And we'll, we'll put stuff in there, but I'll wait till it's glued down. And here is my my uh, Tim Holtz the, that little uh, photo keeper die. And so get some ink on here and just kind of go around the edges, just so those little embossed stitch marks will show up. Okay, and now I'm going to take my, this this dude, I think, and I'm going to use the, the smallest punch. And I'm going to glue down, I believe, Put a backing on it first. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna mark this because I want there to be a little, a little background behind the um, behind the plate here. So I'm gonna cut it there and there, and then I'm gonna glue it down, and then I think I'm gonna put some brads on it or something just to make it look cool. You just gotta remember that when you are mailing the um, post office, at least in the United States, um, it can't be thicker than a quarter of an inch, so, you know, just plan accordingly, right? So, my goodness. It doesn't take me long to get all crowded, huh? So let me put this grid, this is just from one at the back of the Tim Holtz paper packs just some grid, grungy grid paper. And then I'm going to put the label dude on top, except I think I inked the wrong side. Fabulous. Probably because I'm getting hungry. I've got hungry brain, you know? So let me glue the back of this. And then we'll put some brads through it too, just to make it look cute. Cause you know, cute's what you're going for. <laughs> Let me center this on here, about like that. Okay. 
Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like so far. I'm going to make some some little dots because if I don't, I will muck it up. I'll, I'll, it's it's going to get messed up anyway, but you know the dots at least help me a little bit, make me feel better about life here. Now I take these little little teeny tiny brads and fit those through there. There we go. Oh, what a mess, Nick. Oh, and I wanted to get out one of the number codes and maybe pop that on there just to do it. So let's put on a number code. And now we'll glue this on. We will glue this puppet down. And what I might want to do first, because these brads are um, sticking out, let me get some shipping tape and I will tape those down and that way anything that you put in the, uh, in the pocket won't get stuck on those, on those brads. That would be extremely frustrating for you and your pen pal to want to put something in the little pocket and it's like, why won't it go in there? Because you didn't tape your brads, Donna. That's why. Okay, so now that they're taped, all right, now I will glue it. And I'm just gonna glue, of course, around the perimeter because if you glue anything in the middle, then nothing will go in the little slot area, right? So. Yeah, there's glue everywhere, okay. And just kinda, you know, And I put it wherever you want to put it, I guess. There works. <laughs> okay. So we will let that sit for just a second. Now what? Um, so the letter, the letter that I printed out is actually a letter from a gentleman that um, was going to be traveling back to the United States on the Titanic. Um, he didn't make it, of course. Not many of them did, but it even talks about how they were gonna be taking the, uh, the uh, Titanic trip somewhere on here. Yeah, so it says here that on the maiden voyage of the Titanic. Hindsight, buddy. So you can um, I mean, there's lots of things you can do. I was just gonna tuck it in here underneath this, um, this string. Just tie the string down like, like this, okay. And you could even like glue the top edge of the letter in and then just fold it up if you wanted to. So there's all kinds of things you could, you could do here. Um, I think what I, I'm gonna do, because I want I want the person to be able to remove the letter and put their own letter in and send it on its way. Like if they wanted to send this to somebody else, they could just, you know, just keep it going. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get some washi tape. Washi tape is a wonderful thing. And I'm just gonna Cut a little strip off like that and you can tape it over the 
bow here, just like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. And now your little letter's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere, but it's not permanently attached. You could permanently attach it. It, whatever you wanna do, man, not your mom. Okay, so I have all kinds of little things to decorate the inside of this with. Um, I'll get my washi tape. Washi tape is light, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't add a lot of weight to your, you know, because this is, you know, got some heft to it now because it's got so much paper in it. Here is um, a little, uh, 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 uh. it's a luggage tag, and it is, um, I put Molly Brown and that she was going to Southampton where the Titanic was leaving from and she was going on the Rotterdam and this was like, you know, the day before the Titanic left. And this is the unsinkable Molly Brown, of course. So, you know, you can tuck this anywhere. And that's why I chose this. Even though Molly Brown was much older than this, we're still gonna pretend. We're just gonna pretend. So that's what that's for is for her because she was on her way over there. I've got these little miniature Polaroid Doomy Flodgies. So, you know, this one's for April 1910. You put that one in there. Here's one, a little Gibson girl. And we can put that one in there. And then this was just, you know, just a letter. I don't know. And we'll tuck that one in there like that so there's three little three little things in there and this is going to go on the outside here is our ticket to um, the Titanic and we have some little postal stickers and some fragile handle with care stickers and so I would suggest it would be super cool to like um, to like write notes on the either sides of these. I think that would be I think that'd be nice, super nice, so nice, super duper duper nice. So I'm just gonna kind of put this little fragile sticker just to do it. And then I have some of these little stamps, and those might go on the outside. Some of these also might go on the exterior. Um, I think in the pocket, I'm going to put the baggage sticker, and I'm going to put the Titanic ticket, perhaps. I'll put it in front since it's smaller mm -hmm. and then for the launch ticket that one can go straight up and down kind of in the front like that and then you can kind of see through it anyway so there's little doodads in there because doodads are important and then here is just some little little tickets that I made, little Denison type tickets that I made that I thought I would just kind of pop in here for um, extra interest. I mean, you can, you can go to town. You, you can, you know, decorate this as much as you would like or as little as you would like. All that is going to be absolutely up to you and how heavy <laughs> you want to make it. So here is another, this is a ticket, um, a London ticket. It's probably well after Titanic time, but we're just gonna pretend. Shh, we're gonna pretend. And I'm just gonna pop that over there like that. Just like that. Cute, right? So cute. So stinking cute. I might put this little office stamp label like on the letter like that like such and so forth oh it's adorable okay so 
you close this up and then you close this up and then you close this up and this is what will get you know glued or washi taped if you would rather and then on this side is where we're going to put our address label but we can continue to you know embellish so um, like i said in in all um trying to keep this kind of light as possible because i'm trying to remember how many ounces you're allowed to send before you you know you go over the deep end there so please be aware of that if you want to send this in that in that in that fashion as as a letter so let's close that up i'm going to i think maybe put the confidential sticker maybe over here on this side just because it's cute just because it's cute and again that's what we're going for so there is our little confidential sticker on this side and then if we turn it over on this side this is where we can put our postmaster parcel label and you can fill that out ahead of time if you want kind of makes it a little easier that way and then the person to whom you send this to or to whom you send this that's still not right you're not supposed to end in a preposition and I know that and I do it all the time you grammar Nazis out there sometimes it just doesn't sound right unless you end it <laughs> with a preposition okay so I'm just gonna kind of center that in the middle like that and of course you'll be putting your stamps up here on on this side but you know we want to kind of you know add some stuff so you could do this um, airmail this little airmail thing let's let's add this I'm afraid to weigh this thing so let's kind of just put that there you can pop a squat right there buddy and then here are some little what are these King George uh, my Brits help me out I think this is King George ish King George ish uh, and then I have this Ireland stamp as well I don't want to cover up too much of the I don't want to cover up too much of the area where you're supposed to put stamps you know I don't want the post office to get all all huffy get their panties in a wad because this this letter was supposed to have been sent like you know the day that the Titanic shipped off and so this is a passenger of the Titanic that sent this off before they left so there's that I like that I like that a lot and then use really cool stamps you know you just you use some cool stamps that's your that is your job is to use some cool stamps and you can I like it when it like wraps around so you can kind of make it fold make it look like like a package that has a stamp wrapped around the edge so I'm just gonna fold the edge of this little fragile fragile stamp and then put some glue on it and I'm gonna put it down here there we go I like it I like it I like it do you see it all right so that will all be set here in a second that glue that glue will dry I swear it will and then on this side if you wanted to continue uh, gilding the lily uh, 
I'm trying to figure. Uh, I'm trying to be like, like a period. It, well, maybe not period, but at least have tickets from the right spot. But honestly, I can't see. So it doesn't matter. But I think I would like to put a couple of tickets down here just to do it. I love tickets. What is it about tickets that are just so, I don't know, love them. Love them. No, it needs to be over here. I wish I had a different color ticket. What's this one? What's this one? I don't know. Battery. Battery something road station. I can't read it. Battery Central Pier. Yeah, that's that's you guys over there in the UK. Right? So let's let's glue down this one first. This is the Paddington one. Let's glue this one down. Boom. And then then I'll glue this one over the top of that. Maybe it has a little bit more color to it. I mean, not that it matters. I'm just getting OCD here about it. All right, so there's our little our little tickets, and it makes no difference whatsoever. I promise, like no difference, none. There's no difference to be had. And I thought maybe a another postage stamp would be awesome. Awesome. What I'm going to do quickly, this is a little red piece of a ticket. I even saved the little pieces. And what I'm going to do before all this dries is tuck this under like that. That's better. There we go. <sighs> Gotta go in threes, man. Threes or fives, right? Okay. So there is that and then you can run just a little bead of glue along here and then close it down uh, and then just maybe put some washi tape on top and then that'll just kind of kind of lock it in for you and then open it up and we've got our little vellum pocket here for our little tags and little ephemera pieces because you know, apparently that's a thing and we've got our portrait of molly brown and we've got the little tim holtz little slot organizer with our with our little baby polaroids in them our fragile our ticket over here there's the office use, and then I can't open it now because it's all washed down. Um, here's our our little uh, letter that goes on this side, and like I said, if you just wanted to tack the top edge of that letter down with some glue to to the backing of the envelope to the flap, and then just fold it up, and you could still use the twine. I think the twine is a nice addition. I think it's a nice um, you know something to look at, and if you wanted to glue anything to the top of the um, the vellum. You can totally do that. Molly Brown was American, so, you know, she would have some, she would also have some, uh, you know, USA stamps with her as well. So there's, there's, you know, a US stamp. And yeah, I guess, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. It's gonna just make it too heavy. And then you can continue to write on here if you would like and it's so cute. It's just so adorable. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our little um, our little project today as we as we built this little um, this little parcel to send off to a pen pal. And like I said, maybe they'll just wanna put their own letter in and it'll just move on along to the next person. I think that would be kind of awesome. That'd be kind of cool. And it doesn't weigh too much. Maybe it does. No, it's only, it's under three ounces. So we're good. And this is some sturdy stuff. You know, these these uh, 
file folders are really made out of some pretty sturdy material. So you can, you know, put your put your stamps on this and put it through the mail and it may get a little squished, you know, because the mail isn't really all that careful. But you didn't really put anything in here that was going to get mashed or destroyed, so so we're doing good. All right, guys. So, I have just an update. I have finished filming the um, grungy book cover marbled paper and sheet course and so I guess I could show you, you want to see so these are the books that um, we make in the course there is this one and it is covered totally with the grungy cloth with um, the tipped in uh, end pages just like just like that and then we also make this version and I teach you how to make like a grunge board and then it also has the tipped in marble paper. Gorgeous. Um, the fronts of them haven't been embellished. These are just the plain, the plain books. Um, but, but yeah, so that is the, these are the two books that we make, the two versions of the the books that we make in the upcoming course so there's your there's your preview um let me think let me think and then there's something else kind of interesting coming up we'll we'll see um a couple interesting things it's going to take me a minute to get it together but but it'll be fun and in between times i'll be i'll be back and we'll make more interesting or not i don't know some fun stuff that you know you can play with so stuff like this all right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. And um, um, all of you over there on the East Coast, please be careful, especially if you are in the Carolinas and the Georgia and also, I guess, Virginia area too. Please be careful and um, please do what the first responders tell you to do and get out if you need to get out. And um, yeah, so be careful, be careful, be careful. I'm not your mom, but I worry about you like I was. <laughs> so be careful guys and I will um, see you really really soon in the next video. Bye guys!